Do you ever wake up and you say, oh, I don't want to do it today? I fight against <laughs> my mind. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's it's happened. We are we are all human beings. We are we are not happy every day. We are you know not in a good mood every day. It's normal. It's part of it's part of us. What do you do to overcome that? I fight against that. You know, it's it's the big challenge. It's when you're not willing to do something, but you have to do it. Somebody came up to me. They said, E.T., man, I'm tired, E.T. I'm tired, E.T. I put in the work, E.T. I'm not seeing the results, E.T. I'm ready to give up, E. I'm ready to give in, E. Come on, E, you, I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. On the journey, there's always be that motherfucker in the sewer you came from that's grabbing at your fucking ankle as you're leaving that sewer. That's going to drag you right the fuck back down because you figured it out. Well, people don't do that. They don't sit down and think, all right, you know, let's let's figure it out. You're, you've got a life. It's hard, obviously. It's like three years from now, you can have what you need. You got to be careful about it. You can't have everything. You can have what would be good for you, but you have to figure out what it is, and then you have to aim at it. Well, my experience with people has been is if they figure out what it is that would be good for them and then they aim at it, then they get it. And it's strange because they don't necessarily, it's a strange thing. It's not quite that simple because, you know, you may formulate an idea about what would be good for you and then you take 10 steps towards that and you find out that your formulation was a bit off and so you have to reformulate your goal. You know, you're, so you're kind of going like this as you move towards the goal. But a huge part of the reason that people fail is because they don't ever set up the criteria for success and so since success is a very narrow line and very unlikely the probability that you're going to stumble on it randomly is zero and so there's a proposition here and the proposition is if you actually want something you cannot give up because it ain't what you see you cannot give up what you gotta do is you heard it you heard it champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank that's the difference between the greats that's that's what separates them when they don't have no more when it's over when they're tired when they're frustrated when they're ready to give up when they spent their last dime that's when they get started are you hearing me it's when you have nothing left it's when you depleted all your money when all your energy gone when you have nothing left that's when it's showtime one thing i found out in my life i used to always want people to accept me and like me so i became who they were if you like something and i didn't like it i liked it because you liked it become unapologetic of who the fuck you are in your life you get after it and you're a hard motherfucker get after it you gotta make yourself better than what you think you are and what that requires is people not fucking understand you not know you not get you at all look at you like you're off look at you like you have a problem don't worry about that shit be unapologetic get after it stay hard be who the fuck you are that kind of discipline and focus you have to have like real rigid requirements of yourself where you don't allow yourself to back out of things and you don't allow yourself to slack off and I don't think people put those kind of requirements on themselves as if it's um, it, it is a, a, a daily principle of life like what you must get done
You don't have to personally be perfect. Are you hearing me? There are those of you right now, you should have cut a CD. You should have wrote a book. You should have got it. You believe that, that you say scared of what? E, I ain't scared. You are scared. You are scared. You're scared of failure. You're scared to make a mistake. You're scared that you're not perfect. And I'm telling you today, you ain't got to be perfect. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't have to be perfect to get what you want, to do what you want, to have what you want, to be what you want. You don't have to be perfect. It's a lie. You don't have to be perfect, but what you have to do is perfect today. That's what I want you to do. You'll never be perfect. As long as you're alive, there's always progress. You can always get better, but listen to me. I want you to practice perfecting the 24 hours. You hear me? 60 minutes in a day. 1,440 seconds. That's what I want you to concentrate on. I want you to concentrate on the now. And that used to be me. And nowadays, you know, shit, for the past 20 some years, I don't need fucking purpose. And people miss out on this, man. The purpose, we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it making money? Is it, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? So I, I, it's perform without purpose. You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker? I'm still going to get it. Because when that time comes, because time is going to come, when that purpose is there, you'll be ready. You can have it. Now the question then would be, well, what do you mean by actually want? And the answer is that you reorient your life in every possible way to make the probability that that will occur as certain as possible. And that's a sacrificial idea, right? It's like, you don't get everything. Obviously, you, obviously. But maybe you can have what you need. And maybe all you have to do to get it is ask. But the asking isn't a whim or, or today's wish. It's like, you have to be deadly serious about it. You have to think, okay, like I'm taking stock of myself. And if I was going to live properly in the world and I was going to set myself up such that being would justify itself in my estimation, and I don't mean as a harsh judge, exactly what is it that I would aim at? And often people won't specify their goals too because they don't like to specify conditions for failure. So if you keep yourself all vague and foggy, which is real easy because that's just a matter of not doing as well, then you don't know when you fail. And people might say, well, I really don't want to know when I fail because that's painful. So I'll, I'll keep myself blind about when I fail. That's fine, except you'll fail all the time then. You just won't know it until you failed so badly that you're done. And that can easily happen by the time you're 40. So, so I would recommend that you don't let that happen. So that's willful blindness, right? You could have known, but you chose not to. Okay, so once you get your goal structure set up, you think, okay, if I could have this life, looks like that might be worth living, despite the fact that it's going to be, you know, anxiety provoking and threatening, and there's going to be some suffering and loss involved in all of that. Obviously, the goal is to, to have a vision for your life such that all things considered, that justifies your effort.